Long before man invented the automobile, horses accompanied their masters all over the world. These animals were an essential part of daily life. With their help, an able rider could cover long distances, often a matter of survival in those days. As much of the world no longer travels on horseback, many of the horses' former daily duties have become the basis for a variety of equestrian sports. Among the different disciplines, endurance or long distance riding is certainly the one that suits the basic instincts of horses best. For quite some time now, worldwide endurance competitions, that means covering distances of 80 to 160 kilometers per day, have been held regularly and for decades. Thousands of riders on all continents have participated in these competitions. The idea was born in the Arabian Desert, a competition for the world's best endurance riders and horses, where the desert of Dubai and Abu Dhabi in the United Arab Emirates. For this unique event, Endurance Village was created. The moment of truth is approaching and the riders are called up to the start. All competitors are excited and nervous now, riders as well as horses. They all know what's in store for them and that they are going to face fierce competition. top endurance riders of the world start the race, accompanied by lots of good wishes and hopes and a huge cloud of dust. This horse go and flies to a triumphant victory, a few lengths ahead of his fellow countrymen. decisive check. Then the outcome. The vets confirm Sheikh Rashid is the winner. He has demonstrated that he is the fastest among the best prediction about the top position. How could he foretell the outcome of the race so exactly? How did you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's kind of... Uh, uh, no, not secret, I mean, but, but the horse... Uh, I like his performance, you know, and... Uh, 
He's very, uh, I call him uh, myself, he's like a gentleman. And he's a real, real nice animal. And he has very big heart. And the combination between him and the rider is, you know, fantastic. They go good partners. And I have observed this in the first time. And I was, uh, this is kind of more than insurance, unless something happened, you know, lameness. Otherwise, he would be very competitive always. One of the most prominent events in endurance riding is over. Over? Not really. One of the most important prizes still has to be awarded. Perhaps they'll all meet again here next year in the world's most preferred endurance ride 2000. Ireland. The rugged scenery of the Glen of Imal offers a stunning mountain view. Some 30 miles south of Dublin, the capital of Ireland, the Wicklow Mountains host the historic village of Donald, with a population of just under 200. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed is highly satisfied with the results of the first day. I think Rashid and Hamdan just 12 minutes behind, which is Take good position. First heart rate and we'll see 60. tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. It has a flavor, you know, this, this place, you know, something special. And it's increasing since being started, you know, number of horses and number of participators. It's a good start mode. That means that the leading horse will be the first to start again at 7 in the morning. Then, corresponding to the end times of day one, Michael Owen will go into the race six minutes later. Sheikh Rashid will follow 11 minutes, and Paul Mainboring 12 minutes later, etc. So the gaps will exactly mirror the positions of the first race day. Sheikh Mohammed displays true sportsmanship and tries to console his unhappy competitor. This is the race. If you are lead, if you go too fast, sometimes you last, sometimes you don't last. And uh, I think everything is all right. But uh, we'll see you there. The next one. So there lies the general number 10, Canelo Rio, with his Highness Sheikh Rashid bin Mohammed Al Maktoum. Those horses just crossing the, the line into the back gate as the other horses come down off the field. This is was my expectation. Canelo Rio. And uh, I have with even talked with them the last two crew points. Pull, uh, pull your horse, don't force now him, don't follow him. Contention. You are the winner. So, uh, I mean, bad luck for the first so the one in the front, but uh, France, tactic is very important. And always tactic, believe me, and the last four kilometers. That's it. So Sheikh Rashid is now in first position and starts into the last relatively short lap over 19 kilometers. The French rider Philippe Thomas, the English woman Yvonne Tyson, the American Michelle Owens and Mubarak Shafia follow each other in intervals of seconds only. These competitors have caught up enormously in the final lap. Some of them nearly 15 minutes. I think the United Arab Emirates deserve uh, the front positions in terms of uh, teams or in terms of individual, they are coming very long and I think they are really an Olympic uh, professionality personnel in terms of riders and them crew and I believe uh, the sports 
should really go to the Olympic now. The Al Maktoum Endurance Cup 99 proved to be a fantastic event. Remarkable performances, a thrilling finish and an accurate and skillful organization made this event an unforgettable one. And a lot of competitors will surely meet again at the Al Maktoum Endurance Cup in the year 2000. Quite appropriate and symbolic that a strong Arabian team took part in this championship race. Its leader, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Crown Prince of Dubai and Minister of Defense of the United Arab Emirates, and his son Sheikh Rashid, Sheikh Hamdan and Sheikh Maktoum could match their skills against top riders from all over the world. The novelty of this European Championship was the Open Championship ranking mode for non-European riders. The chefs de keep voiced quite differing opinions on this change. The start is due at 6 a.m. Portuguese time, and as the sun will only rise at 7.45, the riders use helmet lights. Tension is rising. The start is imminent. Sheikh Rashid and his chef to keep Faisal Sadiq Al Mutawa expressed their satisfaction with the race so far. This is the tactics, and uh, we pulled a couple of minutes away from the other uh, guys. I'm with the, the French team, which is one of the favorites, the hot favorites here. So I'm really happy with my position, and uh, hopefully everything will go all right. My uh, my filly is all right. Uh, her heart rate is all right. So the plan is uh, going right. Okay. Thank you. Very and our manager is happy with us. So that's good. And here's the manager. <laughs> what do you think about the development of the race? Will they be able to keep the high speed? No, we, but we will keep uh, pushing the French, you know, to, uh, to make them uh, really go fast. And they are doing 21 the speed, and, uh, and that's our tactic too, you see. And uh, the real team is uh, the one 17.5, uh, which is number 7 and 12, to make accumulating to the... Uh, and hopefully, I mean... I have feeling we, we will win today, and God knows what's going to happen. Another prominent top-class horse is presented in excellent shape. Nelson, the winner of the European Championship. <laughs> this is the second European Championship of the year for the United Arab Emirates team. The seniors followed the juniors' victory in Donau Eschingen in August 1999. I don't know how to express it, you know. I mean, uh, this is for me a lot, really. I mean, it's not just for me, for the whole Emirates and uh, for, the, for the sport. I think Emirates has convinced the world that uh, they really deserve it. And I have made my statement in the, in the morning with you that they really have a strong chance to be a golden middle, not an individual. And thanks God to the God first and to His Highness for his really intelligent uh, patience and, uh, and the riders, especially Sheikh Rashid and uh, Abdullah Bilhad and others, Sheikh Maktoum, who made the really individual uh, good position. And I think this is really, we are very proud and very happy. I think we got the gold medal because uh, the horse is in our blood. And remember, remember uh, all the horses racing now are descending from the Arab horses. So uh, we want to know about horses. 
and uh, God has helped us today really because uh, the Spanish is a strong team and the French is a strong team. All are very strong. But by God, you know, after 160K, we made it in the end. Sadiq Almutawa, Secretary General of the United Arab Emirates Equestrian Racing Federation, is receiving the gold medals for his team, which also confirm his personal achievements with regard to this wonderful and upcoming sport. Holland, Spain, Norway, Italy, Switzerland and of course the host nation Germany measured their skills and pitted their wits against each other in a hard fought but always fair competition. In front of the Fürstenberg Castle, the countries made their colourful entrance. In her opening speech, Dr. Juliette Mallison of the host nation Germany welcomed the 70 riders aged between 14 and 21 who carry the future hopes of endurance riding. It's a great honor for the German Endurance Riding and Driving Association to host the, set, the European Open Championship in Endurance Riding for young riders and juniors in the beautiful Fürstenberg Castle Park here in Donau At this point in time, the ever-present representative of the United Arab Emirates Equestrian Federation, Faisal Zedik Al Mutaba, is very confident about his team's chances. Win win. At the preliminary examination the day before the race, the United Arab Emirates team show their horses which are in prime condition. <laughs> Everyone is satisfied with the result. Congratulations. I, I told you my interview, we're going to win, and we're coming for win. And that's what happened. <laughs> it went very well. I was uh, a bit sad when uh, my son Hamdan got uh, a poison food last night, and he couldn't participate this today. So I thought we were weak. We only uh, were three riders against all these teams. And, but uh, God was with us, and we brought this uh, result. The team gold was won by the team from the United Arab Emirates. The team chef and secretary general of the United Arab Emirates Racing and Equestrian Federation, Faisal Sadiq Al Mutava, receives the prestigious trophy. Best of spirits, the riders of the Junior Open European Championship in endurance riding say their final farewell. The sporting performances and the attitude of the young riders were admired by everyone present. These young people point the way to the future. It is certain.
The winner of this competition, which did not count for the main event, was Mohammed Khalifa Dasmal from the United Arab Emirates on Moneymaker, who was considered a favorite from the start anyway. The awards for the contestants were presented by Saudi Arabia's Prince Faisal bin Abdullah Mohammed Al Saud. I was not so much exciting in my life in the Emirates about show jumping like today. And the kids, in overall, they were perfect. Really perfect. The motto of this championship, establishing bonds and consolidating friendships between the children of this world. And what can join children together in friendship better than an adventure trip through the desert? Well, the kids are having wonderful fun anyway, that's for sure. And uh, some of them have probably never had as much fun as this on the bikes, and uh, it scares me. <laughs> but the kids are not scared, and they're all young, and the sand's soft. And there's been a few th uh, spills and whatever, but everybody's having a wonderful time. Mainly that to have the, the kids, that they can have really freedom, and they can go out of them, uh, motion on them, uh, mind and uh, competition, and to build up. Uh, a resistance in them for tomorrow. Some riders start the day very early, warming up their horses to avoid muscle cramps during the race. Then, time to go. Faisal Sadiq Al Mutawa, Secretary General of the United Arab Emirates Equestrian and Racing Federation and organizer of this ride, leads the field to the starting line. 55 starters face the desert. The best vets of the world have come together here to ensure the welfare of the horses and FEI technical delegates guarantee the strict compliance with all FEI regulations. And this is the general organizational standard in the United Arab Emirates, not only during events like the most preferred 2000 ride. Secretary General Faisal Sadiq Al Mutawa points out the importance of this race, modestly playing down the organizers' efforts. It's mean a lot to my heart, actually. And uh, I believe this is the third best ride in the world after the World Championship and the Open European Championship, which the Emirates took the Golden Medal in 1999. And this is the third rating, and I hope 
one it will minute. be one of the the best ride in the world because i think within another two to three years the riders will be very much demanding to participate in this ride another prize is given to horses and owners the best condition award the vets select the winner from the first 10 horses the one they consider being in the best physical and metabolic state thus pointing out clearly which horse is extremely well trained and which rider knew exactly how to handle and judge his horse. For all horse owners, this award is a very prestigious one indeed. So, second place goes to Penberg Park Caleb under Sheikh Ahmed bin Umayd al Nwami, and the winner of the best condition award is Luzan, owned by Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid al Maktoum and ridden by Abdullah Bilab. In the year 2000, France hosted the World Equestrian Endurance Championship for the first time. The French have organized numerous endurance events, among them four European championships, but have never hosted a world championship before. The traditional city of Compiègne, located northeast of Paris, was chosen as the venue of this huge event. The challenging course crossed the domanial forests of Laigue and Compiègne. With 35 nations, this world championship missed only just the world record of 39 participating countries, which has been held by the United Arab Emirates since 1998 and is certified by the Guinness Book of Records. Here in France, the unprecedented number of 142 entries, though, again demonstrated the worldwide ever-increasing popularity and dynamics of endurance riding. No other equestrian Olympic sport can boast of such a high number of contestants, thus underlining that it is surely entitled to become an Olympic discipline in the near future. This World Championship 2000 was substantially supported by the foremost driving force behind endurance riding, the United Arab Emirates, because Emirate Airlines acted as the main sponsor of the event. Together with the United Arab Emirates Equestrian and Racing Federation, the French Federation of Endurance Riders, CNRWE, got a world championship of the ground which set new standards with regard to promotion, attendance figures and media presence. It's the wishes of uh, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum that uh, uh, to support the endurance ride around the world and he was so kind, you know, to donate uh, the sponsorship fees um, from uh, and uh, in the name of the Emirates Airline as the main courier company. And um, this really means a lot to us, actually, that to have the continuations of this sport in really an excellent and top manner. Even on the day prior to the race, thousands of spectators are frenetically applauding the entry of nations. That means that the United Arab Emirates are leading the team competition. They're apt to reach for gold. Abdullah Bilab's horse, however, seems to be very strained by the exceedingly high initial pace. And the United Arab Emirates crew are worried, even though the Secretary General of the United Arab Emirates Equestrian and Racing Federation is still spreading some optimism. Definitely there is a, a very steady tactic. Uh, we are proud today that uh, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum is our chef de keep. So um, he made a good strategy plans that uh, to go on good performance and then to slow 
uh, the pace uh, in the second and third and then to pick up the last two and to leave uh, the good gallop which the golden medal in the last lap. Not all participating teams present themselves so professionally like the United Arab Emirates team. And not many are managed so efficiently and competently. Belgian rider Lennart Leesens and French woman Brigitte Preverot, who barely managed to avoid being passed by Sheikh Rashid's brother, His Excellency Sheikh Hamdan bin Rashid al Maktoum, who secures 10th position. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid al Maktoum's sons were the sole survivors of the United Arab Emirates team, which shared the fate of many other teams. Exclusion from the team ranking because of not finishing with a required minimum of three riders. A medal in the team competition was really within the United Arab Emirates' grasp, but good and bad luck, victory or defeat, are never far apart in this wonderful sport. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed, a renowned and experienced sports person, is surely familiar with the imponderabilities of competitions. And so he and the team still enjoy his son's achievements. Maya's horse has passed the final examination and the mandatory doping test. And so the French can start a long night of euphoric partying. Only three out of 24 nations fulfilled the minimum requirement for the team ranking in this event. The United Arab Emirates have tread new path by initiating the Emirates Endurance Worldwide Ranking, a worldwide competition offering lots of prize money and very prestigious awards. Within the framework of this world championship, His Excellency Sheikh Maktoum bin Mohammed Al Maktoum, son of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed, and Faisal Sadiq Al Mutaba are honoring the top ranking riders and horses of 1999 on behalf of the committee. On behalf of her horse, a lower gossip, Meg Wade is receiving the prize for best horse 1999. Bronze goes to Hassan bin Ali from the United Arab Emirates. Silver to Jacques Bigot from France. And the gold medal is awarded to His Excellency Sheikh Rashid bin Mohammed Al Maktoum.
this year's FEI World Endurance Young Riders and Junior Championship for teams and individuals took place in Via Castine. This is a decisive stage of the ride. Will teams with only three members remaining play it safe and go for a good and secure team result? Or will some of the riders reach for the individual crown as well, thus perhaps endangering the success of the whole squad? So, what is the United Arab Emirates team going to do? Secretary General Faisal Sadiq Al Mutawa on the matter. Well, see, from, from the beginning, uh, I have a lot of faith and thought, thought, uh, thought, um, thought for Sheikh Hamdan uh, that he could be really among top three uh, because he's a very, very uh, good rider as well as he has a nice, nice mare with him. And here they come. It's hard to see who's in front yet, but then it's clear. Sheikh Hamdan has achieved the virtually impossible. He has managed to pass Via Rubia in the last stage. What a stunning performance, what a ride. He has not merely closed the gap, but gained an incredible two minutes lead over Agnes Via Rubia in this last, the shortest lap, and beaten her to second place. So his tactics have paid off. First in the individual ranking, and a major contribution to the team result as well. Proves very valuable indeed because it secures the silver medal for the United Arab Emirates team. And a happy Faisal Sadiq Al Mutawa doesn't forget who is mainly responsible for the grand results of their riders. This is one of the uh, very good examples, you know, for the futures, how plans and strategies to be, uh, to be done and which Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum has planned it already and it's worked very well and he's success, I think he's success, now he's proven it that uh, his plans was absolutely right. So thank you. On the next day during the prize giving ceremony, a rightly proud Faisal Sadiq Al Mutawa is receiving the gold medal on behalf of the new world champion, His Excellency Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed Al Maktoum. Agnes Villarubia from Spain is the silver medalist, and Sabrina Arnold from Germany wins bronze. The medals are handed out by the president of the FEI, Her Highness Donia Pilar de Bourbon. And then the team competition awards. Gold goes to Spain, silver to the United Arab Emirates, and bronze to the Belgians, who beat the highly favored French team. Egypt's pyramids, the first of the seven wonders of the ancient world, a symbol of an advanced ancient civilization. What a charming, enchanting scenery for an upcoming and at the same time ancient and modern sport. It is an undisputable fact that endurance riding has considerably increased its chances of becoming an Olympic discipline in the near future. To organize an endurance event complying with all FEI regulation means, however, to have or acquire a lot of know-how. So at a very early stage of preparation, the local organizers decided to utilize the vast experience of one of the leading endurance nations of the world, the United Arab Emirates. The Emirates established an own organization, the United Arab Emirates Equestrian and Racing Federation based in Abu Dhabi, which has been organizing endurance events since 1993. The Federation promised its Arabian brothers in Egypt a comprehensive and far-reaching support in all fields concerned, 
And so this event was generously sponsored by His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. First of all, start with qualifiers. Then provide equipment and acquire professional staff. Attract the public by luring an international contingent of top professional riders. Then personally lend a hand and put the final touch to everything yourself. In the end, have fun. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Crown Prince of Dubai and Minister of Defense of the United Arab Emirates, gladly accepted the Egyptian invitation. Despite of traveling there in an appropriate, statesmanlike manner, using his own 747, His Highness was not mainly interested in the official protocol and framework of a state visit. Of course, he and his sons, His Excellency Sheikh Rashid bin Mohammed Al Maktoum, His Excellency Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed Al Maktoum, and His Excellency Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Maktoum graciously, kindly accepted the warm welcome expressed by the Ambassador of the United Arab Emirates, Mohammed Ahmed Al Mahmoud, and the Egyptian Minister of State for Administrative Development, Ibrahim Nafai, at Cairo Airport. Shortly afterwards, however, escorted by a police cavalcade, they are already on their way to tend their horses and look after their equipment, the proper behavior for professional endurance riders who will leave nothing to chance. Faisal Sadiq Al Mutaba, Secretary General of the United Arab Emirates Equestrian and Racing Federation, expresses his motivation for supporting this new type of sport in Egypt. Well, it's His Highness' wish that uh, to uh, to really, I mean, make the a lot of countries, and especially the Arab countries, uh, know about the what's the endurance and what is the heritage of it and what is the enjoyable of it. This kind of games which I think it will be, it will succeed the, the goals, you know, which make Egypt today is one of the historical uh, country and historical ground. So I think it will bring really the message around. For the first time joining his brothers in an international competition is a new face from the house of Maktoum, the youngster Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Maktoum. He wants to demonstrate his equestrian abilities on his horse Bo Diddley, together with his brothers Sheikhs Rashid and Hamdan. On the day prior to the race, the Maktoum family again displays unity. Working the selected horses on a trial ride through the desert near Saqqara, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed is joined by his sons. Again, all horses are thoroughly checked by the vets. As usual, Faisal Sadiq Al Mutawa is supporting everybody in both word and deed. He and his staff from the United Arab Emirates Equestrian and Racing Federation guarantee a trouble free course of events. Based on his professional knowledge, he is able to give us a plausible explanation for the superior performance of the United Arab Emirates team. And he even dares predicting the outcome of the race. Well, it's, it's, not, it's not a surprise, believe me. I mean, I was expecting this because they're really, really professional. And I think they are more than good riders, they're really professional riders. And um, they cope with it, you know. Do you have a tip for the winner? Who will be the winner of the day? Well, my expectation always towards uh, Sheikh Mohammed, number seven. But we have a good rider too today. Uh, he came very well, His Highness also Sheikh Hazar bin Zayed. I think he's doing too well. And the one always to be counted in his danger, Sheikh Rajdin. World Cup. What a magic word for athletes. The best of the best meet to crown their champion. In March 2001, Dubai hosted top horses and riders 
congregating here on the occasion of a double World Cup event, the FEI Endurance and Flat Race World Cup 2001. General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Crown Prince of Dubai and Minister of Defense for the United Arab Emirates, had invited the world's best to this equine summit and, as usual, provided an appropriate, a superb setting for his many prominent guests. These two World Cups attracted an unprecedented number of TV teams and journalists, and the international media experienced that this magnificent and prosperous emirate by the Arabian Sea again presented itself at its best. The grand sport of endurance riding has developed with exceptional speed and tremendous dynamics lately and has turned into the most popular and accepted equestrian sport worldwide. A development not least thanks to the United Arab Emirates' massive support. Such a grand sport that will surely become an Olympic discipline quite soon is, by the way, ideally suited for global sponsoring and should surely attract as many sponsors as the flat race event here already has. World top stars will go into the race here. Reigning world champion Maya Kila Perengera from France, the former multiple world champion Valerie Canavi from the USA, the vice world champion of 1998, Fausto Fiorucci from Italy, all in all, 88 top athletes from 24 countries and, of course, a formidable United Arab Emirates team matched their skills in this FEI United Arab Emirates Endurance World Cup 2001. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. On the evening prior to the race, Faisal Sadiq al Mutawa, Secretary General of the United Arab Emirates Equestrian and Racing Federation, instructed the participants about the particulars of this event in a multimedia briefing session. <laughs> FEI Endurance official Michael Stone was responsible for supervising the strict compliance with all international rules. And Dr. Halvard Somerseth was in charge of a multitude of internationally experienced and renowned veterinarians. And off they go into this very demanding ride. You know, Sheikh Mohammed is always looking forward to uh, to improve the facilities, and hopefully, um, one of the aim of him and and ourselves is is this to be one of the Olympic Stadium. And as in the world's most preferred rides in 1999 and 2000, the prize-giving ceremony of the FEI United Arab Emirates Endurance World Cup 2001 was blended in with the opening party of the Dubai Flat Race World Cup. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed is celebrating Abdullah Billab's grand victory. His work and initiative are bearing fruit and endurance riding is in the limelight again and has surely become a top-class horse sport. And as His Highness Sheikh Mohammed is always looking forward to the future, next day he'll be involved in another striking equestrian event on the racetrack of Nadal Sheba.